Peace, peace, my purpose people. What's going on with you? Y'all, listen. So, today is the 21st day of August, y'all. Come on. Yes. For those of you who may be new to my face, I am Zavi D. Morgan. I'm a holistic life and business coach and a business owner, as well as a small business coordinator in the ecosystem of entrepreneurs and small businesses in the minority communities, okay? So if you need some support with ideation, uh, whether that's identifying what your purpose may be, how to put it into a position where you can profit from it, um, you know, uh, product, products, programs, and service development, y'all, business planning, okay, and resources for capital access, make sure that you connect with me. Even if you're at the stage where it's like, hey, I got that stuff together, but I need to become legal. I need to make sure that I am in compliance for my industry, whether you need to um, register your business name, um, obtain your tax ID number, your business license, whatever the case may be, um, any of your... Uh, um, unique identification numbers that you will need for taxes, uh, government contracting, you name it, honey, I am your walking, talking billboard, and it does not matter if I am in your state, your city, or your town. As long as we have this thing called virtual, I am wherever you are. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, God got me out here in a mission in life and career, y'all. I'm here to do what I've been called to do, y'all. But during this video, for the last past 20 days i have been bringing you information guidance uh encouragement support a, a change in mindset pov whatever you want to call it honey listen god has me delivering you all this word these words for the month of august august has 31 days we're here at day 21 y'all we have 10 more days together of this devotional okay so the month of August is, is um, represented by the numerical number eight, right? And in the Supreme Mathematics, eight is the vibration of building and destroying, okay? Destroying destroying the things that no longer work for you, whether that's your mindset, people, places, things, whatever the case may be up in your life, you got to remove it, get rid of it so you can be blessed with new, 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 everything, new, 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 okay? Listen, better is what the universe is trying to give you. Universe meaning universe, God, Allah, Yahweh, universal life force, energy, the creator, the most high God, whatever you call it, that ultimate force of energy, the omnipresent force of energy, this creative energy that created you is who is what I'm talking about, okay? Um, and so with that being said, I'm here on day 21, pick up these jewels, you ready? So we also received in the, in the celebration of Black August, my husband has been sending me some Black August quotes, okay? So comment down below if you may, if you will. Thank you, husband, okay? Thank you, babe. Now, this quote today is by Angela Davis, okay? Real short, real sweet. And it says, no liberation without education. No liberation without education, y'all. Okay, make sure you are educating yourselves, darling, darling babies, okay? Because you cannot expect to become free if you don't know what free looks like. You cannot expect to be, to change a system that wasn't built from you, for you, in the first place. We have to become educated enough to build our own. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Somebody clap for me. Let me see. What a clapping thing at. What a, ch cheer then. Yeah, because it's for the future. Listen, I don't know who gave me this interface with all these things on it, y'all. <laughs> but every now and then, I like to push the button, okay? So anyhow, the, today's devotional is entitled, Bring Your Gift. Come on now, bring your gift, all right? And so it starts with scripture, and the scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12, and it reads, Whatever your gift is, ex whatever you give is acceptable if you give it eagerly. And give according to what you have, not to what you don't have have oh i just free somebody god you just free somebody through me today honey i'm gonna run that back second corinthians whatever you give is acceptable if you give it eagerly 
and give according to what you have, not what you don't have. Come on. Come on now. Somebody is giving a little bit too much of themselves, running themselves dry, and then be feeling used, abused, and like don't nobody appreciate it because you done gave too much. You done gave from what you don't have. You have given from a half full cup. You have poured from a cup that had a sip in it. Come on now. Let's get into this devotional. And it reads, I returned home from an exhausting trip at about 4 p.m. I wearily, I wearily lugged my suitcase inside, looked at my calendar, and panicked. I had totally forgot that weeks before I had signed up to bring a meal that night to a family whose mom had just had surgery. I peered in, I peered in our sadly neglected refrigerator and thought, how am I going to make dinner with that? <laughs> it felt like one of those game shows where one is challenged to feed a family of four with one egg, a droopy celery stalk, and a jar of olives. I hastily found some frozen meatballs, cooked them with a jar of sauce. I, I spotted far back on the shelf. Oh, with a jar of sauce, I spotted <laughs> back far on the shelf. Heated up frozen green beans, peeled a b big bowl of oranges, um, felt a bag of potato chips from the kids junk food stash and raced to deliver the meal Ew Praying that it wouldn't taste as inadequate as it seemed <laughs> The next day the mom called to tell me her family had raved about the meatballs. Okay, glory be to God I was relieved but surprised it was such a desperate offering. I knew the only reason for the raves was God's blessing on the gift. A man must have prayed over it, Lord. Must have prayed over it, okay? This is why it's important to say your grace. <laughs> it suddenly reminded me of the time when 10,000 or more people were listening to Jesus preach and he suddenly turned to his disciples and said, feed them. The disciples were... <laughs> The disciples were like, what? A young boy appeared with his mirage, with his mirage lunch, a few loaves of bread, a few fish. The disciples looked at their proverbial refrigerator and said, um, Jesus, there is no way we can feed all those people with this little bread and fish. Time to send everyone for Chinese food. Okay. Listen, but Jesus blessed the gift. Did he not? He did. The massive crowd was fed with leftovers running over. This boy who offered his lunch was certainly not the only one in the crowd who had brought food. But everyone else thought that we would probably think in such a situation. What could be done with my tiny portion? What difference would this make? The boy didn't let those thoughts stop him. He put aside any embarrassment or timidity, pushed through the the, the thronging crowd, come on now with these words, and gave Jesus what he had, okay? And look what Jesus did with it. A little gift turns into one of the biggest miracles in the Bible. Friends, let's not hang back and miss the blessings. God will use any gift we bring when we trust that he will use it for his glory. Come on now, come on. That, that, was, that, that was good. That was good. Because, honey, we have all been there. I know I've been there, especially with my family. I'm like, I'm going to just go ahead and throw this together right here. Listen, look, I'm tired, y'all. I hope, Lord God, sprinkle some love in it, God. Make it tasty in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and every other prophet that has walked this earth in your name. Because I need all y'all bless this dish here. Okay? Listen, been there, done that, okay? So let's reflect. It says, what is something you feel God wants you to bring to him? Even if it seems like it in a and an adequate gift okay what is something you feel god wants you to bring to him even if it is an inadequate gift to you how can you view it in the light of the boy and his loaves and fish can you trust god to take what you have to offer and bless it beyond what you can imagine come through yes lord 
Yes, Lord, we trust you, God. We trust you to take whatever it is we feel that's inadequate, Father. And we trust you to, to, to put your blessing on it, Lord. Put your anointing on it, Father. And make it bigger and better and make it serve others in a way that we have never imagined possible, Lord God. And this, we thank you because we believe in it. Amen. Comment down below and claim this is, if this is your word, okay? Comment down below. Amen, Lord. I believe it, Lord. Thank you, God. I'm going to throw some stank on it, too. In the name of Jesus and every other prophet that has walked this earth in your name, Father. Let it be so. Amen. I shake. Okay. I'm going to leave you with this quote, quote and I'm going to get on out your way. It says, the growing of God, the growing of good of the word, the growing of good, the growing good of the world is partly dependent on unhistoric facts. I finally got it out. I'm going to repeat it for you, though. Okay? <laughs> the growing good of the world is partly dependent upon unhistoric facts and that things are not so ill with you and me as they might have been. It's half owing to the number who lived faithfully a hidden life and rest in unvisited tombs. Ooh. That was extremely deep. I'm going to read that again just for good measure. The growing good of the world is partly dependent on unhistoric facts. And that things are not so ill with you and me as they may have been. It's half owing to the number who lived faithfully a, a hidden life and rest in unvisited tombs. This, this, this quote was from Marianne Evans, okay? The pen name is George Eliot, okay? Listen, if you want to, because that, 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 that was deep. I'm going to listen. That was deep, honey. Okay? But anyhow, Lord God, we want to thank you. <laughs> Somebody cut it out there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, it's pretty because I was, I was feeling a little bad right there. Holy oh, Spirit was like, somebody caught it. That was for somebody in particular. It was for you. Amen. Okay? Because, honey, that thing was deep, child. Okay? You ever get a piece of poetry and you be like, Mm, I, it kind of went over my head, but the feeling it gave me was deep. Okay, Lord, you made me like this guy. You know it. Anyhow, so listen, don't let nobody tell you that you can't when God has already told you that you can. Okay, make sure make sure that you strengthen your purpose and be about your passion so you can live life every single day doing what it is you love to do, but most importantly, what created to do. Okay? Listen, if you haven't already, hit that notification bell and subscribe to this channel so you can help me help God help this channel grow. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Love you.